Welcome back, family, and if you're new, my name's Nick, and I'm here to help you reach your full potential, and today we're talking about this. Well, it's supposed to be silent, but we're talking about silence. Let's get into it. All right, family, so for this video, I'm gonna have to ask you to do one thing before we even start, and that's go ahead and take your shoes off at the door when you come into my house today. So what that means is just forget about what you think you know just for the duration of this video, and your shoes will still be at the door when you leave this video. So please family just do me a favor and some of the concepts today might be a little bit different than what you currently know or have heard before so just take your shoes off relax and just enjoy so in order to silence the mind we have to realize that we're not the mind and that there's this a, there's this kind of divide you're here and then the mind's here you're watching the mind you're kind of up here looking at it and then sometimes we listen to the mind and it starts to take over and that's why we're suffering so the key way to do this is through one way and that's meditation but what really is meditation and i'm sure that you've heard a definition of meditation before and it may not have been correct which is why i said leave your shoes off family okay so <laughs> meditation itself is it can be described in a multitude of different ways but the most important part at the very beginning for meditation is becoming the observer so when you are silent and when you obviously when you start meditating you are getting a lot of thoughts coming in and it's you can't just stop your thoughts but what you can do is just let them come and go like the clouds above me what you can do is just let it slide on by it's like watching a highway and you're standing on the side not on the highway itself but you're standing on the side watching the cars go by once you can detach from the identity of being those thoughts and you can just see those thoughts for what they are that's the beginning of silencing that mind <laughs> so i'm not trying to say that you shouldn't think any thoughts i'm trying to say we need to silence the thoughts that are no longer serving us so those are the negative thoughts that come towards us so i'm not saying that if you're happy you can't be happy because that's a thought i'm saying that when you think you're happy in this moment you're consciously saying that you're happy but a lot of the times the thoughts that we tell ourselves like what 75,000 thoughts a day is what some people have or most people those thoughts are not coming from now they're coming from past or from future based on your programming or from what's happened to you in your lifetime and so that's your subconscious talking and i'm not trying to say that your conscious can't say that things are good because absolutely we want to enjoy but what i'm trying to say is that there there are ways to then take those thoughts that are coming at us all the time and to silence those so that we can consciously choose and create how we want to feel in that moment so to explain it from an energetic standpoint what we're doing is we're no longer feeding thoughts energy and so what this does is we get to decide since we're the observer now which thoughts get energy and which don't so this will silence those thoughts that don't receive energy after a while they may keep coming like maybe you have thoughts that you're not worthy or that you're not making enough money you're not providing enough you don't have this you don't have that after you stop identifying with those thoughts then those thoughts stop coming to you after a while because you're no longer feeding it energy because everything is energy and then when that energy goes out and it goes out into those things they just keep coming back into your life that's what law of attraction is so we're no longer feeding those thoughts and things energy that no longer serve us so what we can do is get to the state of silencing the mind through no longer feeding it so some different ways we could do this would be like th with music you may listen to music and that could be the beautiful music if you can hear the birds in the background of the birds singing there it is <laughs> you could listen to the birds singing i mean you could play tapes of birds singing you could um listen to guided meditations there's so many different ways you could just listen to breath and if you've ever watched anything about beginner meditations a lot of the times they say focus on your breath because it's something that you can't relate to it's something that doesn't change and this is why some people listen to slower music when they're meditating or music that may put you in a trance and that that's mostly because you don't have any uh, associations with it you just kind of is there and you can kind of observe it and you don't think about what it is because when you start to think about what it is too much then you're back in thought itself so we're just trying to get to know thought by no longer feeding it energy at all ah we're done with the energy ah boom <laughs> think of it like this your thoughts are kind of like your prison until you let them out 
So you have the key to the jail cell and you're the jailer on the inside, but a lot of the times people think that they're in prison with their thoughts. But really, you have the key to the cell and all you have to do is let the thoughts out. You have to let them out, you have to let them go. That's what looking at the clouds and just look and just thinking the clouds are the thoughts and just going oh, okay there's the cl there's the thoughts there's the thoughts they're, they're just going by you have to let them out of their jail cell or else they're just going to keep banging around in there you know like they, they might have a key go do 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 might have a cup do 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 feed me feed me do i want food i want water and if you keep feeding them energetic food and water they're just going to keep coming so we don't we just want to avoid that at all costs so we can really reach our fullest potentials so i ask myself sometimes when i'm thinking negative thoughts or I have thoughts that don't serve me I ask myself who's thinking these thoughts is it me thinking these thoughts and then I realize that no it's not so that's how you can just use one exercise to disidentify with and realize that it's, it's not really you family it's not so when I was younger I used to have these thoughts that I wasn't worthy and I didn't know what to do with my life and that I wasn't good enough to be in a relationship or and I didn't have enough money and and I wasn't really happy and I realized that all these thoughts that kept happening to me were just that they were just happening to me and I was identifying with them so that's the thing I thought that I was having those thoughts but what was happening were those thoughts were coming or I was experiencing those thoughts and I was not truly them so then when I started to disidentify with those and realize that they no longer served me by accepting them and I didn't say which is a big point of this video is we don't want to say that the thoughts are bad. We just want to accept them that they're there and acknowledge that they're there because that's all they want is they want to be acknowledged. And so we acknowledge that they're there and then we let them go. And then we just can continue on with our lives by not identifying with those thoughts. And then they go. It's like you're the inspector on a conveyor belt and you have these thoughts coming through and you get to decide whether that thought is good or bad. But if you decide that that thought's not good or bad and it's, it's whatever, then it just keeps on going down the conveyor belt. And it's just, that's what it is. It's just a thought. So in silence is where suffering truly ends because you're no longer in anything else but the present moment. And if you take a look around, just look around your environment right now. Is there anything that is really suffering in this moment? I mean, Einstein said that the universe is truly neutral and we have the decision to decide whether or not it is good or bad. So family, what I'm saying is take a look around. Is something good or bad or is it your mind telling you it's good or bad based on your previous programming? So silence and listen have the same exact letters in them. Is there a correlation? All right, so to recap on the 101, which is basically the beginner version, all this is about is disidentifying with our thoughts because when you sit down for that first time meditation, you wanna know what's gonna happen? Your mind is gonna say, ah oh, man, I need to go out and exercise. I need to go out and send some emails. I need to send some texts. I need to get on Instagram. Man, this shit is so boring. What do I even do? You know, why are you here? We got to do other things. And the reason why that it's saying that is it's giving you 10 million things, 10 million reasons why you shouldn't be there. But remember, the whole point is that we're trying to disidentify with that. So it's just trying to survive. It's doing what the ego does and what the mind does. And that's trying to survive. It's there to help you survive. And the thing is, is it's just a tool. So when we realize that it's a tool and we can put it away in the toolbox when we need it and we can pick it back up, just like the past and the future. If we want to visit the future and create our reality, we can just go in the toolbox, grab the future, use it for a bit and visualize and then put it back away and then truly become present in the moment. And that's what this is about, family. We're just becoming present. And we're becoming present by disidentifying with the past and the future, which is where most of your thoughts are going to come from. And even the thoughts now that are saying you should be doing something, you are this, you are that. And we're disidentifying from it all just by becoming that observer. So that's going to be it for the beginner. I will definitely put out a 102, probably eventually more advanced. We'll see what's in the uh, works there. But uh, thank you so much for being with me here in this now moment family. And if you haven't clicked my face yet and subscribed, go ahead and click my face right now. I would appreciate that so much. And I will see you again, family, in the next. Peace.